Have you heard of a receding hairline? <laughs> well, my boy has one. And he said other barbers leave him like this. To fix this, I take the bulk down to hide those light spots, then I thin it out, then I prep the skin up, then I line it up real natural, then boom, that's the end. Look, if you in Laurel, Maryland, and got an issue with your hairline, click the link in the bio to book today. Is your hairline fucked up? My boy got two light spots and he said other barbers push him back or give him that McDonald's <laughs> hairline. To fix this, I lay the waves down, then I prep the skin up, then out the hairline, then line it up real natural, apply some enhancements, then boom, that's the end look. If you and Laura Maryland got an issue with your hairline, click the link in the bio to book today. My client's beard line got pushed down and on the sides it got pushed in. So first I prep his skin and his beard line so that way he can be crispy without enhancement. Then I blend in the line so it doesn't have any disconnection. Then I line up the jawline as natural as possible. And I make a point at the top and at the bottom and connect them in the middle while only using the razor for precise detail. Then I go back in for precise detail work. Then I cut the wild hairs and sculpt the beard and boom, hit that man with that razzle dazzle, you know what I'm saying? But if you're located in Tupelo, Mississippi and got similar problems click that link in my bio for the next one but my boy sliced and diced i already know it
My client has a light spot on his hairline, but likes to keep it as natural as possible. But I'm gonna push it back anyway. Just kidding. The first thing I'm gonna do is bring the hair down to the desired length, then go shorter on the darker areas to match up the density. Then I'm gonna prep the hairline with shaving cream and a hot towel, giving me a clean canvas to work with. I'm gonna apply a light mist to holding spray, start on the light spot first to keep it as natural as possible, and then work my way out to that side. Then I'm gonna follow up on the other side, again, keeping it as sharp as naturally possible and finish up with some razor work. This is the finished cut. If you're in South Florida and are tired of getting your pushed back, click that link in my bio, because barbers that don't listen are whack. Let me show you how I fix a wild beard. First, I faded, then prepped the skin for the natural beard line. Then I freed the hair in place and then tapered down the line. Make them puff his cheek and make a guideline at the bottom and the top and connect them in the middle while only using the razor for precise and clean detail. Brush away the product and go back in and detail my work. And I razor the mustache to finish it off. Then I sculpt the beard to fit his face. And here you go, a diced up beard. All natural. But if you're located in Tupelo, Mississippi, if you want your beard diced and tamed, click that link on my bio to book your next appointment. But my boy is sliced and diced. You already know it. Yo, my guy hairline grows thin in the corners and it grows further down in the middle. So let me walk y'all through how we fixed it. So since it grows further down in the middle and the left side is way higher right here, we're gonna have to push the middle back and match the left side up since it's the highest side with the right side, but not really trying to dig into those corners where it's thin at. So we're gonna lay it down with some OG Walker Red Alert holding foam and brush it in. As y'all can see, we got these hairs laid down on the hairline and we're gonna start off in the middle 